another beautiful day in the neighborhood. We are going to go get a practice session in today with my buddy Mike. He wants to try out some new Callaway driver. I guess they got it at the club, so he's going to go try it out and uh, see how it goes. I think it's the great, I don't know, it's the green one. Keep wanting to say great big Bertha, but I don't think it is a big Bertha. And we went to the Callaway fitting. I was gonna show you guys some of that footage at the, from the Callaway fitting that we did, but um, it wasn't that great. It was pretty dark in there. We did it on a simulator and uh, quite frankly, it wasn't that interesting. Um, I mean, it was interesting in the fact that he got to try a bunch of different golf clubs, but it was not interesting from a camera perspective just because I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't capture it all. And uh, anyways, it was a rainy day. It was really ugly. So anyways, he liked one of the drivers, one of the Callaway drivers. He was hitting it a little bit further than the driver that he has. And the dispersion was really good on it. So obviously it's all about the misses in this game. Um, so anyways, we're going to go to the club today. I, supposedly they have one there. So he's going to try it out and see how it goes. All right, guys, made it to the club. We got these... Uh, Great Big Bertha Epic Drivers. That's what they're called, Epic. Got a couple shafts and we're gonna go try them out. They even got a lefty, so I'm gonna be able to hit one. We're gonna go to the top of the range where we're not gonna bug anyone and get the party started. You wanna say hi? What's up, Mr. Uh, Mr. Antisocial. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that hates being in front of the camera. We got him in front of the camera. <laughs> That's a beautiful day though. <laughs> All right, boys, let me show you these drivers real fast. They're the Great Big Bertha Epic. This is the lefty one, so it's not the Sub-Zero, which has the little uh, the interchangeable weights in the front and the back. So this one, you just control the left to right, I guess, is what they told me. This is not an official review by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just gonna hit it and see what it's like. I'm not a professional golfer. And then Mike's got the, the Epic Sub-Zero. So he already got, we went to Callaway, he got fitted. And this is the one that he liked the best with actually this exact shaft, the Rogue. I'll be a Rogue shaft. So we're gonna see what the ball flight is like and it's going any further. Beautiful day on the range. So I brought the GoPro, I brought the drone. I'm pretty excited. So what we're gonna do with the GoPro a little bit later is we're gonna throw the GoPro down on the green back there. You might, you guys, can hopefully see it. It's like 100 yards. And we're gonna try to hit the GoPro. It's that new GoPro 5. It's got a nice case on it. We'll see how sturdy it is. With the golf ball coming in hot. And, uh, hope, well, hopefully we don't break it, but maybe we'll get some cool shots. Okay, so here's the new GoPro 5. Well, it actually looks pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna put it right next to the pin. At least give us something to aim at. And, uh, See if we can hit the little guy. See if we can hit it. We're gonna put it right over that green, it's about 100 yards, maybe a little bit in front of it. And hit some wedge shots in there. See what kind of shots we can get. It's a little bit dangerous, but you know, anything for the shot, that's what I say. Anything for the shot. That looked pretty cool. Oh! <laughs> Right there. Oh my gosh, son. 
there, guys. So we just hit a lot of golf balls at the drone and we couldn't hit it. We're, we're trying to take it out of there, but uh, it didn't happen. Anyways, we're gonna try out these drivers right now. Mike's already hitting his. I'm gonna give mine a shot. Actually, I'm gonna hit my M2 first. Let's see, just as a rough comparison how where this is going versus uh, the new one. All right guys, we just finished up hitting these drivers and uh, they were pretty amazing. I think the ball flight, the misses on the Epic drivers compared to the M2, again, not a professional review by any stretch of the imagination, but just what I was seeing, the misses are not as dramatic on this driver. Um, I don't think I was hitting it when I pured both of them. I think the M2 probably would go maybe five, seven yards further. Just totally guessing, I don't have any numbers, but we shot the, the flag that's all the way down at the bottom of the range. Um, and that was our target. It was about 282 with slope. We're a little bit into the wind. So um, this driver was consistently, I would say a couple of yards shorter than the M2. Um, but then again, I mean, I don't know if I have the right shaft and uh, this is a 10 and a half degree head. I plan a nine and a half in the other one. So I try to crank it down uh, minus one to you know get it to, to a nine and a half. But I think I have mine cranked down too. So I think it's playing more like a nine or eight and a half. But anyways, I love the feel of this. I think I'm gonna order one or actually go get fitted for one just because the misses with this thing are so much better. With the M2, when I miss it, it just creates a lot of side spin either direction. And with this one, it seems to go pretty straight. Like when I when I was missing them, it was just kind of like, it would turn a little bit, it would curve a little bit, slice, you know, draw, but it wasn't super dramatic. So I don't know. I think they're onto something with this driver. It feels really good and um, there's only one way to find out and that's to go get fitted and throw in the bag for a little while. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy today's uh, video. We just came out here for a little practice session, nothing too crazy, but um, we're gonna be going to Vegas uh, this upcoming or next weekend. So we're gonna play golf course out there. So I'm gonna have another video for you guys pretty soon here. But anyways, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later. What's your review on that driver? I think it's great. So uh, the best driver three wood combo that I've ever hit, and uh, feels really good. Feels solid. The numbers were good. Uh, the ball speed was uh, the best I've had, and um, I think I'm gonna buy it.